you got a minute? Yeah, yeah. What's, uh, what's the problem? Well, um, the radio went dead. Oh, I'm sorry, you got the wrong shot. What I know about radios, you could you could ride on the head of a pin. I'm still learning about engines. Well, um, one of the wires jiggled loose. Could you just look at it for me? Yeah, sure. Let's see. Oh, sure, yeah, one of the, one of the jacks is out there. Turn on. Thanks. She a genius. Well, maybe I should hang out a, a radio repair sign after all, huh? Well, I'll see you. Ron. Betty, if you just, um, you pull that out purposely just to waste an hour or so. Thanks, but you're wasting your time and mine. We don't get a chance to talk very often. Well, maybe that's for the best, huh? Well, I don't see why. Well, the last time we spent any time talking, it almost cost you your marriage. Oh, that was different. Any time we're alone together, it looks the same to Stephen. Stephen knows there's nothing between us anymore. Stephen knows there is something between us. Something he's afraid that maybe you and he don't have. An understanding. Rod. Do you ever think of what it might have been like if I'd had our baby? Oh, Betty, don't. Do you? Of course I do. He'd have been two years old now. Stop it, will you? Well, I have to. Look, you can't change things now. We're... Too much has happened to us. I try to put it all behind me. I try, but... But parts of it won't die. Somehow it always comes back at me like... Like when I had to leave and go to New York and... Betty, why, why does the past, why does our marriage bother you? You've got so much more now. Well, I love Stephen. I want to be a good wife to him. What is it? Rod, what would you do if I told you that someone very close to you is trying to hurt me? Well, I'd do, I'd do something about it. What? Whatever was necessary. Even if it meant ending up in a courtroom or a jail cell. Betty, what is it? No, no, never mind. I'll take care of it by myself. Um, I better go.